Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Halo Reach. This is Latikin014. In the last part, we made ourselves, well, we made our ways uh, all the way over here, and uh, I kind of got some shitty ass weapons because I barely have any ammo in my sword, which is not really that useful. So, first order of business, we want to come through here, actually pick up some new stuff. So, definitely, we don't need the sword for now. We can replace that with the uh, mortar. And since we have low ammo on the DMR, we can kill like maybe two things with it. There's one. Okay. We missed with the last shot. And uh, I don't know, just work our way around. So yeah, we just have to kind of defend this area for a little bit before uh, uh, we get reinforcements. So, I don't think we're in the last mission just, uh, just yet. So, excuse me. Um, we might be. At least I don't believe we are. Are we? Well, Emil's still up there. And we're not even close to the Pillar Autumn just yet, but we're getting there. So, uh, sorry for uh, jumping the gun. I just, uh, not used to uh, when these missions actually do end. Kind of my bad. So we have a brute up there. Hopefully, we can uh, try to. Okay, never mind. We can assassinate this grunt. Clear the room. Any reason I made it up here? Got a sniper rifle, and uh, I love my sniper rifles. So there's one down. Hopefully we can track him. Another shot. There's another brute, and come on, one more, one more. I see you. I see you. I do not see you anymore. Nope, I jumped the gun there. All right. Let's go mortar some some Covenant a holes. Not that great with this. Oh, I actually hit. Shoot. Alright, where are you at? There's an armored brute somewhere. Whoa, red dot, red dot. Gotta be careful. So, yeah. Nearing the end, which is a very cool thing. I love uh, this part. Let's see if I can bounce this. Sucking at bouncing. Yeah, that's the difficult part. I'm not at a good angle to bounce this right at them. Hopefully, I can just come right around here, and there we go. So one down. Oops, I'm holding the trigger. I want that to actually bounce and do its full damage, not the EMP blast. And I think I can get that guy. Oops. I'm making my way around. <laughs> Alright. Last mortar. Can we kill this brute? Oh, we did some damage, but not not just enough yet. So let's look around, make sure we're not actually being attacked by anything else. And just kind of pelt this guy to oblivion. There's another brute over here. Hold them off until Keith gets here. So there we go. I like the the spiker has continuous fire and doesn't like overheat and lose accuracy because its accuracy is kind of horrid anyways. So hopefully we can do some damage to these guys before they come out. Nope, didn't look doesn't look like I killed any of them. Hopefully that gets a couple of them. I need to make it back in so I get a nice weapon to kind of pelt at them. Now there's a little secret over here. If we're running out of ammo. Uh, we just come over here and melee. Uh, just melee right in there. I just know it's around here somewhere. Maybe that's only on legendary. But if you melee it at the right spot, I'm just not sure where it is. I uh, oh, never mind, it popped out. Except that uh, it's on the wrong way. There's like, I think DMR ammo under here. Not exactly sure. But, you just gotta be lucky. I was not so lucky, so... This is not gonna be good. Don't want him around too long. Just keep pelting bullets. Eventually he'll die. Oh, nice. Good job, Marines. Didn't even know I had Marine support coming in. Let's see if we can get these guys. 
That's a little dangerous for me. Aha! Nice. That gravity hammer is going to come in quite useful. For now, let's do some artillery. See how they like it. Ooh. Almost a good hit. Almost. Not quite there yet. Alright, let's bash some faces in. I'm about to bash you in. I know there was a brute that made its way up here, so let's see if we can sneak around. Check his attention. Well, he noticed me. Well, he can suck it now. I'm a little hurt, so time to get the hell out of here. A little risky of me to do that. Can't do that on Legendary. Alright, hopefully there's... I believe there's a health pack around here. There is a little bit more ammo down uh, in the basement, so uh, that's also a good place to check. This thing is shotgun. Yes, shotgun ammo, so... Actually, I'd prefer shotguns for now. they will come in useful for more dangerous things. So we'll just, I just like to run up, bash them in the shield. So that's clear for us so far. Yeah, more on the way, so that's not good. I think we'll be fine. I'm just gonna go back to my sniping area. I'll kill the last one for myself. Man, I kept... I fucking suck at my aim today. <laughs> oh god, it's been forever. Alright, there's one more down. Someone behind me. Get the heck away from me. Chichi in the crotch. See how you like that? Ooh. Just grunts. I guess I'll waste them. There's one more down. I think we're okay. Sorry if I'm moving the screen too much, just kind of making sure we're okay and safe. Get the package to the pad, and get your ass off this planet. I've got your back. Alright. I'm gonna cut you up. We'll do, Emil. Hopefully we can make it out here unscathed. I think this is, like, next to last mission. I'm not exactly sure. I know, like, most of these first-person shooters don't have that many, uh... That many, uh, <clears throat> missions, like 12 or so. So, that was a little bit of a doozy, going through that. Good to see you, Spud. How's he assured Captain me Keys. I can You saw him from, uh, Combat not Evolved. Me, sir. They'll be remembered. Cruiser, adjusting heading for the autumn. Noble Probably Pirani should have actually cruiser, played this game before uh, Combat copy? Evolved. I have your window, sir. Makes sense, because this is a prequel. Rich, this is the captain. We have the package. Returning to the auto Copy that. I wonder if Halo 2 is actually on uh, Xbox Live uh, Marketplace. If I can get Halo 2, that would be amazing. But if need be, I will purchase a new copy, because I do have the uh, one of the original oh. Xboxes. Yeah, give him hell, Emil. Good job. Oh no. And there we go, we lost another comrade. So who's who have we lost so far? We've lost Cat, we've lost George. I believe we've lost Carter in that Pelican crash. Negative. I have the gun. Good luck, sir. Good luck to you, Spartan. And who did I I don't think we've lost Jun yet, have we? I don't remember if if we did lose him, I don't remember when. But yeah, so now we gotta actually defend and uh, alone now. So yeah, we gotta make our way up there, but it's not it's easier said than done. 
So first of all, we got a uh, new group of Coven over here. And shotgun's not going to be very useful, so let's see if I can make my way out back to some like better guns. Spiker actually has some range, so I'm going to use that for now. Alright, so let's start our start our ascent. Yeah, that's the problem with that. I gotta deal with these elite, so. It's the easiest way is to charge up a good shot. It's around here somewhere. We're draining our power, but it's definitely worth it. Wow, I missed both shots. That's not good. So there's one down. We still got a plasma p pistol, so that's good. I know there's a grunt around there. So I blew him apart. He doesn't know this is coming. But, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I suck with my aim. Wow, I missed that. Get out of here. This is my place. Here, I'm around the corner. There's one more down. Yeah, I know there's one with the fuel rod can. I don't want to deal with him right now. Oh, actually... I do want to deal with him. Spartan, it makes copy? it much easier. Up that gun. We've got multiple craft bearing down on us. Actually got him. He just made my day. Alright, let's do this. There's our gun. We actually get to man this thing and destroy some shit. So let's do it. Yeah, we gotta get this... Covenant cruiser, but it's not as easy as it looks. Cruiser, First of all, we gotta defend ourselves away from these things. So there's one down. Yeah, we're just gonna have to keep ourselves uh, alive while while these guys are trying to drop uh, troops at us. And yes, we have banshees to take care of, so possible we'll take those out before these guys drop. But banshees are more of a threat right now because they can actually hurt us. Uh, much more than those guys can. Especially with the Banshee Bombs. I don't see any more Banshees, so I'm safe for now. That's where we gotta hit anyways after in a little bit. Now the way to do this in Legendary is if you start getting hurt, uh, you actually exit the turret, recover your health, get back in, shoot maybe one or two things, and then uh, proceed on with what you were doing. Yeah, I don't believe we can hurt it right now. We have to wait for our, the right moment to do it. Alright. Believe that is it. There's a cutscene. All stations, brace for cast off. There goes the pillar of autumn and the start of Halo One. So yeah, it was the final mission. I was just kind of wondering exactly the uh, sequence of events. Now, if you look over here, there's Master Chief. <laughs> so during that cutscene, you can actually head to the right, and you will see Master Chief. It's a little nice little Easter egg that uh, most people don't pay attention to. But after that, we can't actually look around anymore. I thought it was pretty neat right there with the Pillar of Autumn needing some help with uh, some extra boosters to get off. I believe those are dispos yeah, disposable boosters. It's got enough power to actually keep itself after uh, you get it away from the docking station. So yeah, that is the end of Halo Reach. We don't have much else to do. There is a little bit uh, that we still have left to do as Noble Six. Or... Uh, and that is just to hold out as long as we can. 
Now, there's no real achievement or, like, anything. We just kind of, uh, it's just a shooting thing. There's no uh, reason for us to stay alive. But, uh, they throw us in here, and we actually just kind of just hold out. So, yeah. Basically, this be same beginning as hey, uh, Combat Evolved. I like this little, little added, the, uh, little added part. Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. Ooh, it's a little laggy. Oh, that's an Xbox for you, right? There we go. So my goal now is to maybe obtain a copy of Halo 2 so I can play through that before playing Halo 3. And that should uh, complete this kind of series, but I don't know. I don't know if there's a you know brand new copy available on the market. I probably could find one on uh, Amazon if I look hard enough. And then I can play through that game before getting to Halo 3 because uh, there's parts that don't make any sense if you don't actually play through it. There's no re need to play Reach uh, if you want to just experience the Halo franchise, but it is a pretty cool title on its own. I mean, mo mo mainly people buy these games uh, for the multiplayer, especially after Halo 2. Halo 1's multiplayer was not that great. So yeah, we got all these uh, cut credits going on. It's pretty cool. But yeah, about this game, it's uh, quite entertaining. I mean, it gets frustrating at certain parts, and you gotta get good. It's been quite a while since I actually played too many first-person shooters, so you can see uh, my aim's kind of rusty. Um, it used to be good enough. You know, during the Halo 3 days, to actually go MLG if I wanted to, you know, doing with the no-scoping snipers and stuff, and actually knowing all the little tricks and grenade bouncing into like almost impossible places hitting people but uh, competitive gaming for me it's kind of gone down the shitter I don't really care much about it so I just kind of play games just for fun now don't usually put on my tryhard pa uh, tryhard pants but <laughs> when I do I don't actually enjoy it that much it's kind of difficult uh, when I you know phase into that uh, mentality by accident but uh, these games you know Halo I don't really care for the competitive anymore so you know I'm looking forward to Halo 4 I mean that's coming up quite soon and I don't know I don't want to buy live but I kind of want to play co-op with friends if possible but if not I can just play the single player which is also good so yeah Halo Reach over already can't believe it. It's going to be quite, quite a, kind of a long uh, credit sequence, but they all, they always are. So, at the start of this, you know, 10 minute credit sequence, if you didn't want to hear me ramble, you could have just fast forwarded. Actually, I'll kind of put an annotation to kind of skip forward to uh, the next part or near the end, so you don't have to watch it. But yeah, there's really not much else. Should I even keep these credits in? I mean. These these are the people that made the game, so kind of give them credit. It's exactly what this is for. So now we're in the testers. Contract developing and or development and testing. And there's not much else to talk about other than I want to do Halo 2 so we can continue on with the storyline. But I really don't know what my next game is going to be, guys. I have a lot of plans. I have fraps, so I can do computer games now, which is amazing in its own right. But other than that, I'm kind of lost. Although, I have set my PSP aside for quite a while. It might be time to pick that old uh, old console up, right? <laughs> it's a portable. Not really a console, but handheld console, right? So, if you guys have been sticking with me long enough, you know what you know what game it's going to be. 
I just gotta kind of brush up on my uh, skills. Kind of sad that um, <laughs> my friends actually uh, have their T PSPs are kind of broken, so they can't even play with me anymore. Otherwise, it'd be a lot more fun, you know, kind of doing a co-op, co-commentary thing. But uh, doing the single player, I guess I can do that. I mean, it's not too difficult. Actually, it's kind of it is kind of difficult uh, your first go through if you don't actually supplement. Uh, your gear. Oh, if you haven't figured it out, it's Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. If you don't supplement your gear with, like, uh, the multiplayer side of things, where it's a lot easier to go through and kind of gear up for the single player uh, challenges. Like the double Rajang. Oh, God. That's going to be a pain, but I was able to do it my first time, so I should be able to do it this time. I'm just kind of brush out my skills. Because I have to go with the uh, Blango Cleaver. Or Blangonga Cleaver. I forget what it's called. Ice Fang? Something like that. It's either that or the Sword and Shield. And, well, Sword and Shield hits fast, but I'm going to have to sharpen quite a bit. So we'll, we'll see how how it goes. I'm not sure what kind of armor I'm going to use. It's probably going to be... Hmm. That is a question. It might just be my obituary. That... That set of armor kind of helped me through quite a bit early game. The only obituary S. I believe it's. Is it? Is it weak to thunder? I believe it probably is weak to thunder. Probably a bad choice. But the evade plus two is just too good to kind of uh, ignore. Oh, looks like the end of the credits. Ooh, finally. So yeah, Halo Reach, done. But we have a little bit left. And this part right here. Planet Reach, after the Pillar Autumn has escaped and been decimated. Completely taken over by Covenant. And we're still left alone. Almost the... Almost the only Spartan left. So yeah, we're all on our own. There's not much else to do. Other than to just kind of hold out. There's not much left. I, I do believe, like, even if we hold out as long as we can, there's no point. But we'll try. See how long we can hold out. So we got Covenant coming around this side. Covenant over there. So bring it. Do your worst. <laughs> so yeah, this is like a last man standing kind of uh, mode. But uh, there's no way we can win this. You can see there are actually some boundaries, and you can see they're kind of heading in from all directions, but even then, uh, we, you just hold out as long as you can before the cutscene takes over. Even if you are, like, completely wrecking them. Another one down. He's more important of a target. He's down. Oop, get a shot. So, just kind of go hiding. be okay in here for a little bit. So this guy finds us. Alright. Oh, <laughs> you can actually see our screen's damaged. Alright, Covenant. You can have over here for a sniper rifle, so let's do it. And we have a drop shield. Sprinting is no longer useful because we're just kind of surviving. So 
eventually we will die. There's just no way around it. So we're safe right now. Charge up the laser, come outside, blast this guy. Nice little drop shield. You'll see that again in Halo 3. You can see they're all around us. Not good. Come on. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Oops. Where are they shooting at us from? So let's see if I can get the snow scope down. Oh, well, almost did. Get away from me. Oh, looks like I have unlimited ammo. Let's do this. Can't do anything about this. Run for it. Almost did. Good try. Let's see if we can grab a cut. Oops. I want this. He's down. Oh, they killed us. <laughs> so, yeah. Last stand. Get some. Nope. Shot down. Look at him. Just being a boss. So yeah, you remember this from the beginning. The broken uh, helmet. That was our helmet. This is, uh, I guess, a couple hundred years later. Reach to fall. Our enemy was ruthless, efficient, but they weren't nearly fast enough. For you had already passed the torch. And because of you, we found Halo, unlocked its secrets, shattered our enemy's resolve. Our victory, your victory, was so close, I wish you could have lived to see it. But you belong to Reach. Your body, your armor, all burned and turned to glass. Everything. Except your courage. That you gave to us. And with it, we can rebuild. Yeah, you can see in the distance there's a civilian transport ship that made its way back. I guess they're retaking Reach. So, all I really have to say to everyone is thank you guys for watching uh, my series on Let's Play Halo Reach. Hopefully you'll stick around for uh, my next series, which is probably going to be Monster Hunter. Um, I will work on Halo 2, eventually. Not uh, guaranteeing anything. But, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for just sticking around. I uh, really do appreciate everyone's support. I mean, if you didn't like this series, uh, just tell me. I can always change and not uh, go to the next Halo. So, you can see, not many, too, too many missions. So Lone Wolf was the last one. You can see I've already soloed everything Legendary. That's how I started the game. <laughs> Played it Legendary first just to see what the most difficult. And it actually wasn't as difficult as I... Uh, you hoped it would be. We have one co-op done. And no one else really, really wanted to play co-op, so... Well, whatever, but... Thank you guys for sticking around. I will see you in the next series. Peace out.